You're going to retire soon, aren't you? Yep. Why? Um, well, partly because of this, Steve, to be honest. Um, responsibilities of this have, have taken over. It's taken up a lot of my time. Like I say, I'm getting into it. Um, and you've got to give a level of service to, to people that you come across. Now, that involves taking time out and, and doing things the right way. And I've found that basically playing part-time football doesn't give me the free time and it's not as, as you know, uh, flexible as it needs to be. You know, and, and I'm finding it difficult doing both. Something's got to give. Now, hopefully, this is going to be my career for the next 20 years, possibly. So, you know, football might be in a career for the next 20 days, 20 weeks, you know, something like that. You've got to, you've got to call time on it sooner or later. And, you know, the body's telling me that it's probably time to, to call it a day. What do you like physically, then? Wrecked. No, 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 that's a joke. Um, I'm, all, I'm all right physically, you know, but I'm finding the transition from being, I've spent 18 years being a full-time footballer, you know, um, and all of a sudden to go part-time and have a, another career as well, find time to study and find time for the family, it's too much and, and something's got to give. Well, like I say, this is the career going forward and this is going to get my full attention. So, to be fair, football's the thing to fall by the wayside. I'm sure some will be surprised that you've made that decision so early. I say so early because you look, say, 12 months ago. <laughs> no, you look, uh, <laughs> you look 12 months back. You were playing here at Mansfield. Of course, you finished our joint leading score in the end of the campaign. But you look a year ago, and you were, you were pretty excellent, weren't you? Certainly, when you were when you were fit, you were firing in the goals. It was your first season in non-league, but uh, you were doing the business. I were doing my best, Steve. <laughs> <honest. laughs> well, come on, cheer it a bit. Uh, um, yeah, it went well at the start of last season, but like you say, a year's a long time in football. You know, from I'm, I'm 35 at you know back end of this month. So I've had a great career, you know, in football. No worries there. But um, like I say, just coming part time now. You know, it's not exactly what I, what I was expecting it to be. Um, and like I say, the, the biggest problem is when you've played to a certain standard and you've given yourself certain standards about your expectations of where you want to play and how you want to play and you're not meeting them, it, it's mentally difficult. And like I say, this other opportunity has come along um, and I've spent a couple of years, like I say, the last couple of years getting qualified in it and I want to give it my me, me best shot. So, uh, you know, like I say... I'm 35 at the end of the month, Steve. I'm no spring chicken. So, uh, you know, it's got to end at some time. It wasn't an easy decision, but um, it's got to come to an end someday. And like I say, now's the time. I know we've done these types of things before, both at Notts and here at Mansfield. But because you're coming to the end of your career, let's just have the final say on a few matters. Best goal you've scored? Sure. Um, <laughs> Well, I'm not fans, right? Thank me. The best goal was obviously at Wembley. Uh, it won a great goal, but it was the uh, best occasion. Um, Steve, I'm a striker, mate. I'm not a scorer of great goals, to be honest. So anything from 20 yards would have done me. But every goal is great, you know. Every goal has given me a thrill, the same amount of thrill throughout my career. Like I say, the one at Wembley against Notts, as it happens, ironically, you know, that, that was obviously one that sticks out especially. But um, no. 14 years ago now, that one. Exactly, and he's saying I'm still a spring chicken. That's why I'm not playing no more, mate. Um, yeah, exactly, but great memories, you know, and I'll have that to take to the grave, you know, and believe me, I bore the kids with it. So, uh, no, it's great. I've had a great time, great career, um, but it's time to come to an end and start a new chapter. Best manager played under? Um, to be honest, there's a few. You know, I've played the biggest name, I perhaps would be Sam Allardyce, you know, at Notts, um, who signed me. Uh, played under Jim Smith at Derby, you know, people like that. But you take, take bits out of all the managers, you know. Um, they've all got good points. They've all got not so good points, you know. Things that, you know, generally when they don't pick me, that's not such a good point. But, you know, every football is the same, mate. Oh, I, I've enjoyed playing football, full stop. So I've enjoyed my career. If you can't enjoy things in life, then you're doing the wrong thing. So whatever I'm doing, I try to enjoy it. So I haven't got a bad word to say about anybody in the game. Any regrets? Regrets I'm not 21 again, but uh, no, mate, no. Like I say, I enjoy my life, so I don't look back on it and wish what if. 